uh, and last but not least by any means, we've got John Chapman from the We Love uh, Manchester charity. So uh, just explain what, what it is you do, who you support and what it's all about. Okay. Um, well, the We Love Manchester charity uh, has actually been in existence now for almost 50 years. It was, it was formed back in 1967 uh, by the Lord Mayor of Manchester. Um, and its ethos, or its key focus, uh, is basically to improve the, the lives and life chances of the people of Manchester. Um, and it works tirelessly in order to, to do so. In the last, uh, since 2011, uh, the charity has uh, generated over £300,000 worth of grants to local community projects, local businesses and social enterprise organisations. And it's probably helped somewhere in the region around 140 uh, communities within Manchester and wishes to continue to, to, to do that. Uh, and that's my primary focus as, as head of fundraising, uh, to develop those relationships with organisations uh, within the existing uh, community, uh, but more importantly, to, to really uh, expand that network and engage with other organisations that previously the charity was not really talking to. Um, because as life moves on, business moves on, dynamics of, of how charities work in the current environment today has changed dramatically. Um, and that's not to say that we don't live in a society that still wants to give to good causes. Um, but I think that we have to look at how, a business, from a business perspective, um, how that will benefit. And, and certainly when you start to look at, at, at Jen's uh, uh, social model and how it engages across uh, social media organisations, um, the charities and businesses, uh, you begin to see a way where all of those things can come together to work as, as one force. And, and that, for me, is why uh, we were very much interested in, in, in taking our relationship forward. And we've benefited tremendously as a result of that. And does it please you as a charity to be, get support from a company or a business and actually see them benefit as well? Is, is that, has that become part of it? From your perspective, it does. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, my background is not <coughs> in charities. It's actually I have a, a long-standing commercial background, and as a consequence of that, a fairly cynical view in terms of um, when you when I'm talking to businesses, um, I always look at it from the perspective of, of if I were in their position, what's in it for me? You know, what is the benefit to me? Now, you know, businesses, big and small, are, are challenged every day with, with Difficult decisions, uh, trying to make money, you know, to, to survive, to grow, uh, to develop, um, and they can't, you know, in fairness to them all, they cannot afford not to ask that question. And that uh, you need to, uh, as a, we as a charity, or, or what I've hopefully begun to introduce to to the charity, is the fact that we need to talk to businesses with that that very thought in mind. So when we talk to them about projects that we're involved in. We look at it from a point of view of saying you know, there are lots of social uh, benefits and, and, uh, in, in the projects that we're presenting you to, uh, today. And some of them extremely uh, worthy in terms of how they help vulnerable families in, in our great city here um, and how they help young children. But also there's a, the, there's a business opportunity here for you, uh, which is central to, to the needs of your business. And by working together, we can achieve those objectives on a collective basis. So I, I, I suppose I go in really with a, with a proposition that's probably different than, than charities have maybe taken uh, in, the, in terms of an approach in the past. And there's lots of people from charities here and, and I can imagine that, that often in a charity you're wondering where your next funding's coming from. That, that tends to be a lot of the focus, doesn't it, just to get the money in so you can keep doing the good work uh, that you're doing. And I, I can imagine that, that you try and go to business events, turn up for the great the Chamber of Commerce events and try and, you know, sweet talk people, put your message across. How has ANTS, being involved in ANTS, changed your approach to kind of getting to businesses? Well, I think that we're talking to, to Jen. Um, I think as a charity, we've long since realised, or begun to realise, that, that we have to engage with, with organisations, with social enterprise organisations, uh, with commercial uh, organisations. Um, but there's never been a, a very clear route to market. You know, if, if I were to 
to tell you about three or four of the projects that we're involved in in, in Manchester today and said, as you said a moment ago, would, would, would any of you wish to contribute to that? I'm sure there'd be a show of hands. The problem being is, is that probably, I don't know, maybe only 5% of you will, will possibly know about those projects. Um, what Ant's brought to the table was a network of organisations of know-how and experience being able to blend those, those, uh, those various factions together, communicate that, that information <coughs> to us, uh, and allow us to actually start to convey that message. Um, just to slightly digress, uh, we, we uh, very recently uh, employed a, a, a development, a, a new project. Uh, it's a Manchester Youth Market Scheme. Now, for, for the city, uh, effectively what that, that is going to create is, a, is a, an opportunity for between 60 to 80 young people to actually start and develop a, a, a new business here in, in, in Manchester. Um, the project will be, will be funded over three years, it will be supported, they will be trained, they will receive mentorship, um, they are receiving sponsorship, they are receiving monies towards buying goods, uh, they are being guided on, on merchandising, marketing, public relations. Um, the project was a, was, was a fairly innovative one from the charity's point of view, which had never really <coughs> gone out and took a proposition to the market. And that was, it. this was one of its first projects. Um, and it's created a real buzz in the city. But without the, the support of people like Hans and, and the organizations that, that they work with, we just would never have had the opportunity uh, to get such a project off the ground. Um, and as you can imagine, that develops interest now. We've got banks wanting to, to come and get involved because of they see the opportunity for, for new business, opening new accounts and so on. And the whole thing is really just expanded from there. And we hope that this will be a, uh, we're, we're talking about pop-up markets now where we're going to take these, this project around the northwest. Um, so hopefully this will be the, the beginning of, of, of many great things. But I don't think we could have envisaged it without the support, uh, without the support of Jen and Anson, her vision and the way that she works with the organisation. Thank you, John.